Hi guys, V here from VTO Gaming, and today we're in Call of Duty Ghosts Extinction Mod. Now, with the release date being announced for the fourth DLC Nemesis, I wanted to cover what had came before it and what leads up to this. Now obviously Nemesis adds multiplayer maps, but what we expect is it will also add the final chapter to Extinction Mod. Extinction Mode is basically the modern interpretation of the old zombie horde mode from World at War. You're fighting against various aliens, there is some lore behind it, um, but it's just their co-op fun horde mode, with a little slightly better mechanics. This isn't going to be a tips and tricks video, although I will mention some of the techniques that I use to get by certain stages of the game, but it's more just so you can take a look at the content, see what's on offer, and if you don't get a chance to experience it in a public lobby with a full team, just show that it can be done solo and you can enjoy some of the stuff it has to offer. One of the biggest problems you'll come across in a public lobby is people who don't read that challenge down in the left. Don't take any damage from the aliens. Now the first one normally comes in two forms. Either don't take any damage or only kill with melee. The problem being is most people have started shooting at these scouts long before they've read the challenge, so you've already failed. Because we didn't take any damage, we get our first skill point easily. Engage the scorpion for some extra points. And we'll level up our pistols. Now I always go with my pistols first, simply because when you get to the thirst third level up, you get to carry two primary weapons. Now there's nothing better than when you run out of bullets with your first primary, you have a second. Normally I use an LMG as my second. Gun full of bullets, just waiting to go. Now this would be my first choice, the Vesper, fast fire, good reload time. That's a good reaction gun. And on the way back to that, we can pick up some of these nests, see if we can get some funky attachments. Hitting the knife's always fun. Anything else? De -de 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 -de. Holographic sight, can't argue with that. See if it's in the nest. Cool, another hundred bucks. So we'll drop the drill, we'll loot some more before the drill takes too much damage. Okay, nothing in the corner. One more here. And get that. And another holographic sight. Take a quick look up here. Now I like to get all of this done while that first drill is being attacked. And there we go, rapid fire on a Vesper. <laughs> What more could you ask for? There we go, 100% accuracy, and now we'll just knife to maintain that accuracy level. First set of scouts are fairly simple, you can get away with just using melee combat. Come on, there we go. Under dun 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, we're taking damage, I know. Come on, almost there. Glitch through the wall there. Hacker! Score. Now you may be wondering why I swapped out the flare for the hypno knife. 
You can throw the flare first. And then go back for the hypno knife. We know what it is, so there we go. And that'll be the one we keep active while the mobs go after that flare. Come on. Now, propane tanks. Easiest way to do this set it underneath the drill. Find yourself a replacement. With one. Oh, for some reason we didn't get the kill in the second. can buy that last upgrade. Carry your pistol plus two primary weapons. Sorty. We'll upgrade this. Just because it allows faster reloading, faster aiming down the scope and that kind of stuff. One of our second primary weapons is going to be an LMG. The faster reloading really helps. Now the way I plan to split up this series guys is up top there, there is a main barrier hive. I'll cut the episodes in between the main barrier hives. So if you guys are struggling to get from one to the next, from one to the next, you can just go back and watch the appropriate episode and only see that section. You don't have to sit through me running it right from the beginning. Of the one thing to bear in mind, the more people who are playing the monster scale to that, you have four players online, and you'll have four times as many monsters, and they will have a hell of a lot more hit points. Drill's almost done. One thing that's key here, if you have an engineer in your team, let him activate the traps, because by now he's probably making money back off of the traps. Grab that for faster ADS. And we'll quickly see what the challenge is here. Five aliens with turrets. Now the only turret I know of that can be used is the one up there. Or there's one up there. I just wanted to show you that alternative one up the top there. Before we do that, equip the riot shield. There we go, another skill point gained. Quick, harmless. The drill's under attack. Paying attention to those challenges, guys, makes all the difference late game. The quicker you can max out one or two of your skills, the better. Maybe wondering why I haven't used my hypno knife yet. I'm going to wait until we get a scorpion in. It's going to help us with that last stage. What I will do while well, that one's almost done is start putting the propane tanks up the top. If you happen to be running this solo mode, We've got on the drill. this is probably the quick waste, quickest way to take out the barrier hive. You just throw them right there, they stack. Okay, the drill's damaged, we'll worry about that in a second. As long as it doesn't get below 50%, we should be a good. Let them focus on the drill. And off and kill. Now I'm not going to suggest loadouts or any of that kind of stuff. Everybody has different playstyles. Because I quite enjoy the game, 
single player, just as an alternative to running the campaign stuff. I tend to use stuff that will either maximise my damage or will watch my back, which is why I use the right shield. If you're having to run from the mobs at any point, the right shield will protect your back. I have the flying sentry. He has basically a 360 degree cover. And we'll spend some more points on him just because we'll be using them for this last barrier. Personal armor and explosive ammo. The only reason we use the explosive ammo is it's AOE, area of effect. Bouncing Betty's. Nice. Little trick for the bouncing Betty's if we can get them up. No, we're not getting them. If you're quick enough, you can make it through that first fire trap without taking any damage. Like that one. And we'll head back up. Now if you guys observe propane tanks, just watch that orange bar on the far left. Boom! Takes a significant drop. The most effective use of the propane tanks unless you're doing a challenge. And the soul flam always helps with that. Easiest scorpion to catch with a hypno will appear here on the sign. Couple of shots to get them to move. Nope, he's about to jump, sugar. Come on, on you go. There we go. Boom. Now we have ourselves a personal scorpion. When playing solo, managing to hypno knife a couple of mobs is always a useful thing. If you can save up the teeth for the armory upgrades and manage to get yourself a rhino, it makes the game a lot of fun. Okay, so we're going to have to buy ammo and get ourselves some protection. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Always try and keep an eye on the back of that sign. Scorpions will frequently go behind there. And if you're too busy focused on what's going on here, you won't watch them. And they will make your helicopter move away. The key to quickly finishing this part is making sure that the helicopter isn't interrupted. Good idea is just keep an eye on the helicopter and you'll see where the shots are coming from. As we'll see, our scorpion is doing some of the damage at the moment. Okay, it looks to be fairly clear to be able to empty a part of doing for us ourselves. Yada yada yada. Seems to be sleeping up there. Come on. Almost done. There we go, guys. That would be the first stage of extinction. The first three times you finish it this week. You're going to gain yourself a bonus tooth for the armory sure upgrades. These are permanent, so they're always worth picking up. Top up our ammo. Spend our skill points. And then in the next video, we'll move down into the main city. I've been V8 V2 Gaming. I hope this helps you out. Any likes, comments and subscribe help the channel out. And I'll see you in the next stage, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.